Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Crypt and I'll be your narrator for today. We will be taking a look at level 104 of the back rooms, also known as the Fullerist House. Survival difficulty, class 2. Unsafe, secure, low entity count. Level 104 is the 105th level of the back rooms and appears to be a sort of recreation of a stereotypical sitcom set in the 1990s era household. Description. When entering level 104, almost every time the wanderer will appear in the living room or dining room of what appears to be a large suburban home. The home is furnished and completed with working plumbing and electricity, although the faucets and taps only run black water. Cabinets are stocked as if a regular family had been living there, though all the food product containers have been expired dates. None of the food appears to be expired and has been deemed safe for consumption by wanderers passing through. The house itself has the normal rooms of a house such as kitchens, bedrooms, bathrooms, etc., each varying in look. The house itself is infinite and is furnished in every room. While wandering through the level, you may hear distant chattering in the background, although the source is unknown. Items cannot be found in different areas where one would expect them to be. During your exploration, one may find a camera, setups, spotlights, and recording equipment lying around some rooms. Isolation in this level is very common, but is very rare to become a wretch, as more commonly instead of becoming a wretch like usual. The wanderer will begin laughing uncontrollably and cease any movement, not being heated by a lack of breath or tiring. This will continue until they are left alone on the level, either through the wanderers escaping, disappearing, or dying. On return to the level or new exploration, they will not be able to be found on the level once more. Destroying the level itself or taking any of the items inside yields a similar result, being somehow replaced or fixed when nobody's there to see it. Even though this house is infinite, another section of this level can be found, known as the studio. The studio. The studio is an area of this level that can be found while walking through the house area. One will enter this area when stumbling upon a room with a missing fourth wall. This area will be more recording equipment, set pieces, dressers with cosmetic items, etc. When you enter this area, the entire room you were in previously is now in part of the sorted filming sets. Many different halls and rooms can be found that are different from the house area. It is not recommended to enter this area as it is not fully explored and could be very dangerous. It is advised to re-enter the entrance that brought you to the studio area. Please leave this area immediately until further study by the MEG team, Compass Point. The Family A group of six facelings reside in this level as if they are the family that lives in this level, each with varying appearances matching a typical American nuclear family. These facelings have the level of love and effect and seem to act out various scenarios that are normally be funny or wholesome. Due to the strange nature of the performance, they come off more as disturbing than anything else. Not every baseling is involved in each scenario, but it is unknown where they go in between such scenarios. No one knows what possesses the empty hooks of humans to perform in the way they do, but they tirelessly jerk and twitch in straight and mocking ways similar to acting day in, day out. Often they will face a certain direction as if there is something there to react to their acting, but nothing can be seen. These entities will not notice the wanderers at first entry. Though as soon as the wanderers interact with them, they will be seemingly incorporated the wanderer into the show, acting as their guest star, or perhaps a side character. A canned laugh track can be heard almost everywhere in the level at once as a punchline is delivered. At seemingly random points in the show, the entities will disappear suddenly, followed by any wanderers m being moved suddenly to their location, such as a backyard or a bedroom. This movement is almost always jarring, but the facings will never take notice of it and continue on as usual. This effect ceases when inside of the studio. Any attempts to hurt facings will seemingly interrupt the show. All power will go out, all entities will stop moving, harmed or not, and it will immediately turn into a night despite the previous time of day. A spotlight from an unknown location will shine onto the wanderer who attempted to cause harm. When the lights turn off, the aforementioned wanderer will be gone. A method for recovery of the, those losses may not been discovered yet, though it may have something to do with the canned laugh track. The track has steadily grown louder since its discovery, coinciding with such wanderer disappearances.
bases, outposts, and communities. There are no known bases or outposts in this level. Entrances and exits. Entrances. On any other level in the back rooms, most commonly level 0 through 8s, old fashioned televisions can be found constantly streaming for what appears to be episodes of level 104, though it is unknown whether these are pre recorded or just appear on the television. Attempting to interrupt the broadcast in any way, changing the channel, adjusting the antenna, etc., will somehow transport the wanderer into level 104. Exits. A definitive exit has not been found, however, a wanderer found subsequently killed on level. 104 said that finding a door out of place is the way to exit this level. Finding a gate in the otherwise sunny backyard areas of level 104 and opening said gate will suddenly transport the wanderer to a similar looking house in level 9.